Hello, little sweeties and cuties. You didn't make your same comment, Brian. Oh, I'm am just I supposed kidding. to make all the same? Though? No, this, no. This is your first take? This is my second take of this. Hey, boo boos and babas. Welcome to another little vlog. This is a busy week and I'm stressed, but that's okay. I'm stressed with work stuff and I'm, I have gotten so much better at separating work life and home life. So this is home life. Therefore, when I'm here, I'm not stressed. Don't have a lot of plans this week. I don't even think we have plans this weekend. It'd be nice to see some friends. Tomorrow, Jim the Pueblo's coming back over to rehearse again. Tonight, I gotta edit the vlog that's coming out two days from now, cause didn't do that this weekend. So that's my night tonight. Brian's gonna make me gnocchi and broccoli, my favorite little dish. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I really wanna go to Michael's with Jade. So I'm gonna try and make that happen. Happy March. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, the other thing I was saying in my first take, was there are little buds everywhere and all the little bee boos popping up in our yard are getting so tall and it feels more and more like spring. It's like 66 right now, so I'm getting excited. Okay, that's all, bye. You know how these things happen. I'm not quite sure what's been lacking in my life, but I think it's likely it's you sitting here editing what will now be last week's video and I just don't like the way the footage looks. I used my brand new camera to do it all and I just like, I'm just unhappy with this. I'm a little grumpy right now. I ended up looking up some like settings tutorials on this camera. So I changed some of the settings and I'm hoping that that helps. You know, I often just reach for my phone. This is my phone right now and it's a great phone for filming video. It's an iPhone 14, but I want to like use a nice professional camera. That's how I'm feeling right this second. You have a little insight. Brian just made me my favorite dinner, so I'm gonna go take a break from this and eat it. Tensions were good. So I said for something clever to say. It's 8.24. I'm already toothbrushed and in bed. There's Luna. We're ready for bed. At night, I put this like cardigan hoodie thing on backwards and wear it like a snuggie so that I can read and my arms will be warm. Anyway, I'm coming here to say I'm about to start The Mayor of Maxwell Street. It's my book of the month. Tan has started it already. She started it before me. We pick the same book of the month book so that we can read them together. And she said the book is absolutely wild. Like way too many things are happening in it. And I was reading some reviews and it sounds like everybody's kind of feeling the same way where they're like, what is this book about? Also, over 500 pages. So wish me luck. But I can't as my tail's tucked between my knees and I feel real sheepish. Oh, I just called to tell you, tell you I love you, tell you I love you. I just Wow, Ryan. just using my lunch break to do some crocheting. Here is the back of my sweater vest that I'm crocheting. I'm almost done with the back and then I'll do the front and then I'll attach them together. I'm happy with it. It's gonna be very big on me. I am a loose stitcher, but that's okay. Just finished my work day. I'm gonna read. Oops, this is upside down.
Just chugging through the end of my stressful work week but it's almost done and then it's the weekend tonight I have a friend's book launch party she wrote a book so we're gonna go celebrate we're out of groceries I'm making roasted chickpeas and broccoli and then just some rice because those are like the only things we have left to eat so we're gonna go to Trader Joe's I'll get my friend some flowers yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> Finished my work day. I'm having a little chai latte. I can see that Luna's getting frisky. She might bark at me because she wants to play. But I just settled down. I have about two hours till I need to leave. Do I want to put a movie on? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to put on Emma. Did you have something that you wanted to give me? Can you give it to me? Anybody else's dogs do this? Where they want you to hold their toy so they can chew on it? Are you ready? One, two, three. Go get it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. That is a very active starter. <laughs> Brian's gonna make us bread tomorrow morning. Oopsie. I'm so happy and excited. Look how much it deflates. Wow. I ain't no pretender. No, no, no. I maxed out my gold card when I bought my fender. Baby, all I got is music and groceries. But that's so Good morning. Sorry, I know the quality is shitty. It's 6 a.m. So the sun is just coming up. Today I've got three plans and those are go to Michael's with Jade. I'm gonna try and finish my Harry Potter wooble from when Tan came to visit forever ago. I've been scared to pick it up again because I saw how much Tan hated making the scarf. I might make my own version of a scarf since I know how to crochet a little bit, but, but I wanna finish it. He's just bald, he's sitting there, he's cold. His head's cold. And then read. I'm so close to being done with Miss Newberry's list, which I really, really like it. Though I will say, the audiobook narrator, not my favorite. To the point where when I started the audiobook, I was honestly shocked. Shocked at what I was hearing. I put her on 1.2 speed, which is not a choice I usually make. I, I like to respect my audiobook narrators. You know, Brian's an audiobook narrator. I want to respect the performance, but I, I could not do it. I don't think she's really British. I love the book and I started it on Thursday. It's Saturday. I have maybe an hour left. I'm going to finish it today for sure. And then I want to finish The Mayor of Maxwell Street today because I'm picking up two more books from Bookseller tomorrow and I'm liking Mayor of Maxwell Street. It is wacky. It is all over the place, but I'm having fun. And Tom finished it and she was like, overall, I had fun. So, all right, that's all. See you. Oh, soul is a sign. Soul is a sign. We waving goodbye, baby. Goodbye from your heart back to your mind. Cause every day goes by. I finally just came down and look at what is here. Brian made a sourdough. Oh my fucking God, it's so beautiful. Standing is still so is a pill. Slipped in the time. Heels drink and the white feel. Heavenly hearts don't trust in minds. Cause every day. I finished. Oh 
um i don't know i don't know how i feel about this book i'm a little confused by the ending so i'm gonna text tan it's kind of wacky i don't know how i feel about it i didn't fully understand the protagonist's motivations didn't seem to know what she was doing at all i couldn't really follow the thread all the time there's a lot of secrecy and intrigue and like corruption those are all things that are kind of tossed around in this book but they didn't all fully connect if that makes sense of your home? Yeah, you just toss them on the floor of your home. For what? To be like, look, there's veggies there. I love vegetables. <laughs> we picked the right date to come to Michael's. Do I want this? I love that. I did such a good job at Michael's. I only spent $45. <laughs> which is really good for me. I used to go to Michael's and just easily drop two hundo. Anyway, I met somebody named Savannah. It was so nice to meet you, Savannah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head home and hang out with Brian and maybe work on Harry Potter's hair. I started another book. Ooh, I have to give you all just like a full-blown book update on what I thought of some of the books I was, I've was i been talking about. Okay, I'll do that when I get home. Brian oh. made me drink. Bye. Cheers. Cheers, love. I love you. This is Harry Potter's little fucking arm. <laughs> His decision took him to the nearest post. The door shut. The inspector waved Poirot to one chair. Hey everybody, I finished Harry Potter. This was very hard. Much harder than the fox. The hair? Very hard. And I did the scarf my own style. I just did the same stitch that I'm doing on my uh, sweater vest I did for the scarf and I just switched colors. His eyes are so far apart. Yeah, he's a little shark boy. Mm -hmm. Victor Crumb isn't the only one who transfigured into a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, just here with my girl. Just here with my girl. She's waving at you. I'm about to go have a girl's afternoon. We're gonna get some brunch and then we're gonna go to this women's craft and art market. I'm gonna stop at the bookseller and pick up two books that I ordered there. I know I said I'm not gonna buy books, but I did. I bought two books, but they had cute covers. That's what my day's gonna be. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah. Like as an assistant? <laughs> Bring in that back. capacity, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. I I'm gonna really take that to heart. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, almost dropped yeah. bitch shit. Wait, is <laughs> bitch shit? <laughs> what is it? It's a desolate place. Far cry from my first love, Michigan, sweet talk and my sweet taste. Long way from the long lost dreams have broken on a California freeway This Brooklyn, oh Brooklyn You make Detroit feel so far away And I've only known you a day I haven't even known you a day Yeah, yeah, yeah You like New York, but you ride like LA and What I'm am I gonna make you guys do to get up? <laughs> Whoa! Brown train from Baker to the Park Slope real estate. Looked around for a sit down brunch with all you can eat pound cake. Found a few, maybe six or seven free coffee and free champagne. I dated a guy that was on reality shows. I know, but Jade, the reality shows in the 90s were like. This was in the 90s? Yes, How old do you think I am? We are older. <laughs> sweet taste. Hey everybody, I just got back from girls day. I have this big film shoot tomorrow and I plan to use this really nice portrait lens which is currently on my camera. I have a whole story to tell y'all about this and something that happened today where Brian went above and beyond for me but I can't tell it right now because I'll get too emotional. 
So I'll talk all about that in next week's vlog. So if you really want to know what happened, then you can like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. But I want to test this portrait lens before tomorrow. So I figured why not test it while talking about books? Because I got to give y'all some book updates because we love books apparently. This, you and me. This might look so professional. I'm hoping it does. I was really upset with last week's footage. Brian's just been, I'll talk more about it later. Okay, wellness. I finished last week. I loved it. Ultimately, I gave it four out of five stars because it's just a little too long. It's over 600 pages. It is a fiction novel. It's about a couple. It follows their journey from when they met in the 90s till 2016, 2017, I think. It explores their relationship, but throughout the book, it's also exploring all of these wellness trends that have happened over the years. And the author did so much research. At the end of the book, he has like all of his sources listed and it's just like pages and pages of sources. He did so much research so that he could go on these deep dives about all these different wellness trends from like basically the 90s to 2017, 2018 or whatever. I like a book like this. Happiness Falls is kind of like that too, which was my favorite book I read last year. This one just did it a little too much. I ended up skipping some of the deep dives. I was like, I don't need to know that much about algorithms. I don't have to read this this many pages about algorithms. So four out of five, it's big chonky. It really got me thinking in a lot of ways. All right, Mayor of Maxwell Street, y'all know how I feel about this. Not that great, but I still had fun. Okay, I just went to Lincoln Square with the girls and I picked up two books that I bought from the bookseller. In my last vlog, I mentioned a vlogger named Darling Desi and a video that she had about spring book recommendations and I added five of her books to my TBR list. Today I picked up Arabella which this is apparently Georgette Heyer is an author from I think the 20s or 40s or something but she wrote Regency era romances so once again, just trying to keep my love for Jane Austen romance stuff alive. And then this is Flower Heart, which Darling Desi said was like a Studio Ghibli movie in a book. The cover is so freaking cute. Like when I picked it up from the bookshop, Jade and Jamie were like, I want to read that just because of the cover. I agree with them. So I'm hoping it's good. From that Darling Desi list, I listened to and finished Miss Newberry's list. I got it from the library on audio. As you know, I didn't really like the audiobook narration, but I listened to it on 1.3 speed and it made it better and I got used to it. And ultimately, I just loved the book. It was really cute front to back. Just a cute little cheesy romance. It had some tropes in it, but none of the tropes that I find problematic. It's the story of a woman who is set to marry this dupe. She has a list of 10 things that she wants to do before she gets married. Of course, she meets a new guy who helps her to finish everything on her list and it's just really sweet. Cheesy, nice comforting, feel good read. Then also from the library, I got the audiobook of A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting, which I'm listening to right now. That narrator, fantastic. I think she's really British and it's really cute. It's got very similar vibes to Miss Newbery's list. You know, she's striking a deal with a guy who's gonna help her be a fortune hunter. And I'm like, they're gonna fall in love. I just know it. And then Brian and I have been reading out loud to each other from Sinister Spring, which is the book of short stories from Agatha Christie. He did it last night while I was crocheting my Harry Potter. He was just like reading a cute little short Poirot story to me. And I was like, I love this so much. I miss when Brian and I used to read out loud to each other. It's what got Brian into narrating audiobooks in the first place. So I miss it. Secret Book of Flora Lee. I also loved this book. I gave it four out of five stars because at times it felt a little on the nose, but ultimately I loved it. It's a story of two girls in England during World War II. They're sisters. One of the sisters goes missing and there's a mystery, but the sisters shared a fairy tale that they wrote together and the fairy tale ends up helping them solve the mystery. So that's all I'll say. It's really, really sweet. Brian and I finished Frozen River. That was just an excellent book, really well written. It's based on the memoirs of a real midwife from the 1700s. A lot of the story is just based on like real cases she had. She's an amazing woman, but this story also adds in a murder mystery, which didn't really happen. It was just an excellent book. I can't recommend it enough. Very wintry though. Save it for winter. And then Brian and I started Leviathan, is it Leviathan Wakes? Yeah, it's the first book of the Expanse series because Brian got pumped that I read a sci-fi book and was like, I really want to keep reading sci-fi with you because he loves sci-fi. So we've launched into the Expanse series together. So far, it's a lot of space politics and military speak and stuff. So I'm having a little bit of trouble following along. We're like five hours in. And I keep having to pause and have Brian explain things to me or I'm like, what ship are they on? What are they 
they're doing, but I've heard that the adventure really starts to take off. So I can't wait for that. And I'm having fun, ultimately. And then I gotta add these two books, my book of the month books to my spring TBR list. Listen for the Lie is what Tan and I picked together. And then everyone from book of the month also got a free book this month. This is one of the best books of 2023 from book of the month. We got to pick. So I picked The Wishing Game. So I gotta add these to my list as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go put this in my computer and look at it and hope that I feel okay. Cause I, I'm just, I'm stressed about tomorrow. It's been a lovely week in a lot of ways, but hopefully by the next vlog, I will feel a little more free and relaxed. So let's see, love y'all. Happy lovely week. You make me joy, feel so fine.